This is me at the top of Mount Haystack after a long and technical climb where we had to break trail for about 3,000 feet of elevation gain and cross two major ridges with winds that are well above 100 kilometers an hour. And after enjoying the summit for about, you know, five to 10 minutes, we had to make our way back down for another four hours of technical descent. Make it to camp, spend two to three hours on camp duties where we are gonna melt snow to make water and finally go to bed. And to make matters worse, it got really cold that night. How cold, we will never really know, but the only thing that we do know is that this little temperature gauge here actually stops recording at minus 30, and the red line was below that mark. And this here is the Thermrest Neo Air X-Therm, the most sought after winter sleeping pad for backpacking or just winter camping. And for good reason, because it is probably the best weight to warmth, to comfortability, to packability ratio on the market. Look at how small this thing is. It only weighs a pound and it inflates to two and a half inches thick, making it actually quite comfortable for a side sleeper. But more importantly, it has an R value of 6.9, which is ridiculously, ridiculously warm. And the first time I've ever used this sleeping pad was actually that night after climbing Mount Haystack and that's when I realized how much I had underappreciated the value of a really good and high quality sleeping pad and it was very obvious to me that this sleeping pad was acting essentially like an insurance policy and if you go winter backpacking or winter camping you can look at the temperature and have a pretty good idea of what to prepare for and for me in the past my sleep system was really solid at minus 20 degrees Celsius with a couple of tips and tricks and knowledge and a little bit of layering I could bring it down to minus 30 minus 35 but when it would get into those really cold temperatures it wouldn't be a comfortable sleep anymore it would be one where you curl up into a ball and you wait for morning to come so you can get up and start moving again and the truth with winter camping and where it gets really dangerous and challenging having a difference of 10 to 15 degrees celsius in temperature overnight can happen in a snap of a finger especially if you go out in mountains of the northeast where the temperature just changes really really fast so for me when i said that this sleeping pad is an insurance policy is that i know that at minus 20 i'll be super comfortable but this also ensures me that at minus 30 minus 35 my nights are not about surviving anymore they're actually comfortable and for me to be able to be comfortable and enjoy the, those minus 30 minus 35 degrees celsius night man this sleeping pad is unreal <laughs> <laughs> now here's the cold harsh truth about winter backpacking and winter camping especially when you go out on expeditions is that you will spend most of your evenings doing this you're gonna be in your sleeping bag in your tent trying to stay warm eat because on an expedition trip where you try to travel as much as possible maybe you're trying to climb a couple of peaks the truth is that you take all of the daytime to basically travel as much as possible and by the time you get to camp you have to make water cook and it's not like you're just sitting around a campfire enjoying yourself because you know that the next day you got to do it all over again so it's very much business oriented i'll cook in my vestibule right here close to my tent so i can be nice and warm in my sleeping bag and this is how i spend most of my nights winter backpacking is sitting like this in my tent so a year after climbing mount haystack i ended up purchasing a new piece of gear which was this here the thermrest trekker chair kit and the thermrest trekker chair is essentially a piece of gear that combines with your thermrest neo air and i think in my opinion that it might just be ah, it. I'm just gonna say it. It's actually the best gear combo of all time. So essentially all of what the Thermrest Trekker chair is, it's a sling or a sleeve if you will that you feed your sleeping pad through and what it allows you to do is convert it into a chair. And for only half a pound penalty weight on your back you now have the warmest chair that you could ever bring winter camping and a chair that's actually really comfortable. This is one of the two ways that you can set it up to sit in, but my preferred way on the really cold nights where you don't want to sit outside, you just want to be cuddled up in your tent, I'll show you. The lawn chair setup. So where you can sit up like this and have your legs stay warm here, and you can take your boots off. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now 
Oh yeah, what a game changer. Because after a long day of hiking, carrying all of your gear on your back, the thing that's the hardest to do about hanging out in your tent while you're cooking your meals or just eating and chilling is really your lower back is killing you. And to be able to have a setup like the trekker chair right here where you can prop up your sleeping pad in a way that it turns into a chair and you can just rest your lower back while you're eating, drinking a little coffee maybe. It is such a luxurious way to spend an evening at minus 30. And then when the end of the night comes and you just want to go to bed, all you got to do is you undo these two clips here, goes flat, and off you go. Now, do you have any idea how comforting it is when you've been climbing for six, eight, ten hours straight in thigh-deep, fresh powdered snow, breaking trail through an enormous amount of elevation gain, cross mountaintops and ridges where the wind might go up to 100 kilometers an hour. And when you're in that misery up there, do you have any idea how comforting it is to know that when you're gonna get to camp, you're gonna have the warmest, most comfortable chair waiting for you so that you can just relax and hang out. Do you have any idea how comforting that is in the toughest moment of your days out in the winter? Yeah, best gear combo ever. And this here is another piece of gear that I actually really enjoy, so go check it out.